My name's Katish um, and I'm making this little video in response to a cam campaign asking the government to list art therapists as one of the mental health practitioners that can be placed in secondary schools. Um, basically there was a call out for art therapists to make little videos about um, their experience and um, what they do in their work. So yeah, this is mine. Um, so I'm based in Newcastle, New South Wales and I currently work in a hospital setting. Um, I work on an adult um, mental health team um, in an outpatient unit. So all of my peers are psychologists and mental health um, OTs and uh, social workers. Um, and I also have a quite busy private practice uh, where I support people mostly under the NDIS. So. Um, both kids and young people and adults, uh, mostly neurodiverse, so uh, people with ADHD or um, different psychosocial disabilities as well. Um, and I also support some kids who are in out of home care uh, under FACS. Um, so in the past, um, for the purpose of this video, I'll focus more on um, what I've done with young people. So in the past, I've worked for Headspace um, and I've also run programs uh, employed by a domestic violence service as a child and family counsellor. I designed programs for women and children um, after domestic violence uh, to support reconnection and um, restore hope and um, work through some of the trauma that they've experienced and disconnection and fragmentation within their family. Um, I also ran um, Seasons for Growth programs, which are beautiful programs that are for um, kids and young people who have experienced grief, loss and change. So um, some of the kids would have stories around um, their parents separating or um, having a family member die or, um, yeah, experiencing some kind of transition period where they um, need some extra support and a safe space to be able to come to and, um, and learn a little bit more about um, regulating themselves and connecting with other people and connecting with their families and um, their peers. Um, I... Yeah, also worked at a specialist school supporting um, kids who struggle to engage in mainstream schools. So um, that's that was due to um, a lot of emotional and behavioural difficulties they had, normally due to their difficult life circumstances. Um, I'm passionate about this campaign in particular because I've witnessed firsthand the um, the impact of um, using art making as a tool for engaging young people and um, the connection that can be used within using yeah art making in a therapeutic relationship and how difficult it can be to find words for your experience um, and how important it is to be able to um, create a place for um, young people and for kids to be able to come and and speak about things that are on their mind and actually make things that are um, about what's going on in their world. Um, so often it's hard to find um, words to describe how we're feeling and I'm speaking about young people but obviously that's true for adults as well. Um, so yeah, I just, I get referrals all the time from psychologists and mental health OTs and um, yeah, social workers because they see the value in what I do, just like I see the value in what they do. Um, and yeah, there's a mutual respect there. So um, yeah, I feel like I should also add that um, part of the reason why I'm passionate about this is because I'm a mum myself and I have a kid who goes to a public school and um, knowing that if he needed to see someone, um, that it could be an art therapist um, would be amazing. Um, and knowing that if he went to a private school, it's likely that he could see an art therapist because private schools hire art therapists 
and um, art therapists are readily available in, um, yeah, under multiple other banners in schools. Um, so they can be employed under the NDIS or they can be employed under NGOs. But basically this campaign is just saying that the government should actually fund for art therapists to come into schools, not just these other kind of independent organisations to come in to be able to actually support art therapists to be there. Um, so yeah, and I just would love to advocate for art therapy as a whole. Um, and yeah, please sign the campaign. Thanks.